treatment of water then uh, which method can be used for treatment of water in this unit we can study screening aeration and sedimentation so first collection of water for bacterial testing bacteriological testing means a uh, method of collection of water for a uh, bacter biological testing or any physical or chemical or biological testing so following point should be considered while collecting the sample so first you sterilize bottle avoid the contact of any other material than sample to be tested with cap inside the bottle cap should be inspected for any leakage before taking the sample outside of the bottle should be clean and dry with sterile paper allow the water to run for at least half minute before collecting the sample during filling the bottle it must be hold properly so that no water which contact the hand sh should enter the bottle once collected the sample must be handed over the laboratory at the time delay in testing may give wrong result sufficient number of sample must be collected from various location so as to represent the average value then next point is a water treatment so following are the method choose in purification of the raw water so first method is the screening then aeration then plain sedimentation then sedimentation with coagulation then filtration then desinfication then advanced method of water treatment so this is a typical flow chart of the water treatment plant means uh, on wtp so for screening the main object of the screening to remove the last size of floating matter then aeration the main object of aeration is the uh, to improve the oxygen in raw water then plain sedimentation to settle down the uh, particle in the bed of sedimentation tank with the help of specific gravity then desinfication to kill the bacteria then filtration then sedimentation with coagulation use different type of coagulant for example lime and alum has to settle down the uh, impurities present in water the advanced method of water treatment uh, the main object of advanced method to remove the color order temperature to improve the color order and temperature so first this is the main object to screen the remove the putting object like this then desinfication to remove the harmful pathogenic bacteria from water softening to remove the hardness in water fluoridation addition of fluorine to prevent the dental cavity due to lack of fluorine then liming addition of lime control the acidity and corrosion effect then recarbonation addition of co2 to pre to prevent deposition of this calcium carbonate scale then desalination to remove of excess salt if present in water then uh, our first treatment of uh, water type of plant is a screening so the main object of screening is to remove the large size of floating matter so the types of screening is the coarse screen par screen and fine screen so coarse screen it consists of parallel iron rod placed at an incline at 45 to 60 degree at spacing 2 to 10 mm center to center velocity of water through the screen is 0.8 to 1 meter per second then a fine screen provide after bar screen opening less than 1 cm generally get clogged hence need to frequently clean avoid these days and find particles separately by sedimentation so this is the actual diagram of the coarse screen so this is our angle of inclination then bar screen is provided section and plan then aeration so the main object of aeration uh, to improve the oxygen percentage in uh, raw water and to remove the foul gases so it is a process process of exposing the large surface of water to the atmospheric air the following are the objective of aeration firstly to increase the oxygen content second to expel the volatile substance like gases h2so2 causing the bad taste and odor then to oxidize the uh, fe and amg so that they can be precipitated and removed to destroy the bacteria up to certain extent 
so this is a method of aeration so by using fountain and spray nozzle so this is a image of fountain then this is the image of movable type spray nozzle so the water is spread in the atmosphere and uh, if the water is spread in atmosphere that atmospheric oxygen is added to the raw water and oxygen is added then uh, the foul gases can be removed and temperature color order are uh, improved and a certain type of bacteria is killed to certain limit so this is a movable movable type of spray nozzle uh, this uh, upper part is a uh, movable by circular section then it is a fixed a fixed type of the spray nozzle the water can be entered to, through the fixed pipe and um, flow to the atmosphere by using the nozzle this is a picture image of the fountain by using so the water can be flow to the atmosphere and atmospheric oxygen is added to the raw water so by using fountain and spray nozzle water is sprinkled through the height 2.2 to 5 meter useful to remove 90 percent of co2 gases need to large head of water for working pressure 0.07 to 0.14 mpa then a second type of aerator is the gravity or three fall aerator so this is the picture image of the uh, gravity and three fall aerator the water can be uh, flow into step by step the atmospheric oxygen add and the second type is the cascade aerator the water can be spread to the atmosphere by by certain height and the atmospheric oxygen add to the raw water this is the cascade aerator this is the raw water the what the raw water is discharged to the, the step step by step and the aerator water is collected to the chamber so this is the actual step aerator so this is the image of the cascade aerator this is the fountain the water is spread through the by using this and water is spread to the atmosphere and this is a step to collect the raw water so like this this is a fountain aeration so by using gravity or free fall aerator water is allowed to fall from the height of height of one to three meter three to four step are used to metal of cement trickling bed or multiple trays so this is the another type of uh, aeration system trickling bed and multiple trays so trickling bed and multiple trays bed of coke slack with performance coke size uh, coke with average size of 50 to 75 mm average depth is 2 to 5 mm vertical distance between each bed 100 to 150 mm better result than cascade aerator so this is a next by air diffusion so this is a nozzle and the centrifugal pump is placed over the with the help of centrifugal pump the water is flow through the atmosphere so this is a diffuser plate though so by using air diffusion the depth of aeration is 2.5 meter to 3 meter detention time should be provided up to 15 minutes so limitation or disadvantages of aeration so first in effective remote taste and order due to non volatile substances like oil then chemical discharge as waste mm. then due to over aeration water becomes corrosion economical only in warmer climate the possibility of the airborne containment in the water iron and magnesium can be precipitated only when organic matter is applied.